Protesters blocked entrances to New Orleans First City Court and City Hall for much of the day. And it was in response to evictions in the city and what they say is a lack of resources for renters. WDSU's Casey Ferran live at City Court with a look at what happened. Casey. Well, Gina and Sala, that crowd has cleared out now, but much of the day they were blocking the entrances and even chained themselves together in front of the city court as well as city hall, saying that evictions need to be stopped uh, throughout the city. Now, m much of the day we saw them actually uh, forcing people away in the crowd surrounding people as they tried to make their way inside, although they did let a few people through at times. This all started around 9 this morning when several groups advocating on behalf of renters held a rally to stop the increase in, ev in evictions happening in the midst of the ongoing pandemic. The groups did a performance piece calling on Governor John Bell Edwards, Mayor Latoya Cantrell, city council members and the judges to take action to help renters. They say with the rising COVID rates and continuing economic uncertainty, it, it is immoral that city and state officials have refused to close eviction courts or offer enough support for renters losing their homes. We're going to have a public health crisis, right? If we boot all these people on the streets, our COVID numbers are going to go up through the roof. So we need to like do two things. We other need to secure more rental assistance or we need to reclose eviction court. I get it. They want to, you know, continue. They don't want people to be evicted out of their homes. I agree with that, that premise, but I think you should maybe explore some other different methods on how to be effective. And the city did begin accepting applications for a renter assistance program on Monday, but the resources are limited and the city says that they would need intervention from the federal government to help assist at the level of need here in New Orleans. And coming up on the news at five, we'll talk to one man who's facing eviction tomorrow. Reporting live, I'm Casey Ferrand, WDSU News. Casey, thank you. Happening now, a 